so I do. Okay, welcome everybody. It's somewhere between three o'clock in the afternoon on Friday in Hawaii and 10 o'clock in the morning in Japan. Maybe some other times. Two o'clock on, two two o'clock on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah, so we got all kinds of time zones here. And um, really, um, I'm touched to have your presence here today. I, um, I come empty for the most part. I have just a little bit that I want to say in just a few minutes about our topic for, the, for today, which is about um, um, exploring what's, what's alive in us with the current situation in the world, and especially what's going on in Europe. But perhaps some of the, you're touched also as I am by some of the other conflicts that are ongoing on our planet. It's what motivates me to do the work that I do. And so I feel uh, kind of a strange mixture in the moment of happy and sad and disturbed and mourning and uh, curious. There's just a lot I notice going on for me emotionally in the moment. I do have live transcript turned on, closed captioning if that's helpful for you. And we are recording this, although I don't know whether um, we'll decide together at the end whether or not we want to do anything with the recording. Hi, Amber. Welcome. Hi, Amber. Hey, Corey. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> so uh, what we usually do is start with um, some kind of uh, self-connection exercise, meditation, remembering something like that. So what I'm going to propose today is I'm going to share my screen with you and and put the Marshall's quote up here, which is kind of the, the theme that we've been using uh, to hold uh, the space for these calls for the last um, two and a half years that we've been doing them. And we'll just sit in silence, if you're willing, for five minutes and uh, find out why we're here together. And I'll just read the quote for the recording. Unless we as social change agents come from a certain spirituality, we're likely to create more harm than good. It's a quote from Marshall in his book, The Heart of Social Change. So let's just rest in that certain spirituality for about five minutes.
Thank you. Welcome again, everybody. Some new folks have arrived. Glad to see you, Sherry and you may and yay. So I don't have a pl much of a plan today. I did want to say four things uh, about uh, this certain kind of spirituality that Marshall, I think, might have been pointing to. And then uh, I have a proposal for how we might spend our time together. So let me just share my screen and talk about these four other these elements of this certain kind of spirituality. So this, this class is called, uh, or this session is called uh, Supporting Holistic Systems. Joy and I have been doing it for about two and a half years after returning to um, Hawaii from uh, particularly, to, um, I don't know what the word would be, a disturbing trip that we took to Asia uh, that included uh, being present during some of the um, uh, I don't know what word to use that would be most observational. Some of the civil disobedience that was going on in Hong Kong during October of 2019. And we met a lot of new friends there and, and deepened relationships with others. And so we just started doing this class mostly to support our friends in Hong Kong. And uh, then it's kind of just grown into just an exploration once a month of how we can use nonviolent communication to build holistic systems, systems that are designed to meet more needs with less cost than the systems that currently exist. And so uh, as we've studied for the last four years, we've noticed uh, these four different themes that Marshall keeps pointing to in his work with social change. The first theme being celebration, how we use the power of gratitude and other positive emotions in order to fuel ourselves, in order to um, do the social change work that we're led to do, how important it is to, to savor the needs of ours that are satisfied and to celebrate that and also to share with others when they make our life more wonderful and to take it in when we hear feedback from others that we've somehow contributed to them. So that's one important part of that spirituality. The second part is mourning or despair. And that's the when we take the time to savor the needs that underlie unmet needs, the, the deep feelings of sadness, despair, whatever might arise when we get connected to unmet needs, especially involving systems in this case. The third aspect would be visioning, just imagining, uh, using the power of our imagination and the power of our heart to imagine a world where more needs can be met at less cost. And um, then the final one is to start living that vision now, to start building a culture as if that vision had already come true. So that might lead to some actions that we take on a moment by moment basis, daily basis, whatever, in order to build that culture. So today, um, what I'd like to propose is I created uh, five uh, breakout rooms, six breakout rooms, I think I ended up with when I saw who was here. And um, we've got it set up so that you can move to uh, the breakout rooms um, as you choose. So you get to choose your own room. And the, the five rooms are um, celebrations, mourning and despair, visioning, culture building or action, an open space room, and then a room for our Japanese speaking friends. And if there's another um, request for other language groups, I can add other rooms as well. So if there's a request for a Mandarin room or Spanish room or Chinese room or something like that. And so um, 
I thought that we would do this for about 45 minutes and then come back and see where we were at from there um, and see if we wanted to go back and keep hanging out in rooms or if we wanted to do something here as a large group. So is there anybody who thinks that's the worst idea in the world and you'd rather leave the call than to do that? This, I just want to clarify also that people can move between the rooms if they choose. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so um, I'm going to set the breakout time for 43 minutes and then there'll be a two minutes at the end just for closure. Then we'll come back here and decide whether we want to go back and do some more of it. And I will stay here in the main room for just a few minutes. Then I'll start visiting rooms, too, because there's I want to touch all of these spaces and see. So um, I invite you all to use this as an opportunity to really practice all the skills and consciousness of nonviolent communication that you've been uh, learning and integrating for all the years of your practice. This is this is our chance to really um, live in the world that we would like to be in with one another. So with that, I'll open the rooms and we'll see what happens next. So now you should see on your screen the opportunity to join a room. Is that what's happening? No, it's not what's happening. I, I saw it initially, but then it went away. Oh, well, some people some, some saying people yes, I see it. Yep. Uh -huh. I, I see it. And if you go, if you click on breakout rooms, then it should right. come up. There it is. Yeah. yeah. So click Thank on breakout you. rooms on the bottom of your screen and choose a room. I'm going to make a couple of guesses about some folks here. I'll try to help you out, Yukari. Okay, Corey, would you like some support in getting to one of the rooms? Maybe Corey is, okay, there goes Corey, good. And- uh, Is there anyone else who would like some support? Nikki, would you like me to help you move into a room? Yes, please. Could you send me to celebration, please? Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Eric, is there a place you would like to go? Oh, yeah, I was hoping to hang out and talk to you for a few minutes, Jim, if that's okay. Okay. And uh, Jory, would, where would you like to go? Not sure yet. I'm just hanging out and I may just scan through the rooms a little bit, just okay. to, rather than pick one for the whole time. And yay, uh, would you like me to put you into a particular room? Would you, do you need some support? I know you're on the phone, maybe, so you might not be able to speak or something. Yeah, go ahead. You're on mute, yay. I can't unmute you, but you could unmute yourself, I hope. There you go. So, Ye, would you like me to put you in a particular place? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was having some issues with my phone. Um, yeah, I would, uh, I would go into visioning room, if that's okay. Sure, I'll do that for you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Eric. Hello. Hey. Hi, Jory. I just want to say hi, Jory. Hi, Jory. <laughs> Looks like Jory oh, just left. Gone. 
Okay, good. All right. Let me turn the recording off. We can off. talk about her now. So I'm so curious. I ended up just staying here and um, being a traffic cop, guiding a few people to groups and hanging out with Eric. It would be fun for me uh, just to hear <clears throat> at least from one person in each group about what this has been like for you so far. So I wonder if there's someone from the mourning and despair group that would be willing to share what this has been like for you. Well, if no one in my group uh, then speaks, I can I can maybe try to share it. But I believe it was a very emotional moment for all of us. For and with uh, there was a big um, space to hold our our fears, even feelings of shame, discussions about this unbalanced valuing of all life in this planet. And um, I heard at least four times that it was very relieving and, and, and caring to be able to just share uh, how, how mournful we are and how frustrated we are from um, people not being able to see all as human beings, mm. being this human being, Putin, or, or the rest of victims of war around this world, or the black people being put in the back of the line in Ukraine because they are not blonde with blue eyes. <sighs> also, shared the fear of the consequences of a war being repeated. Uh, there were people in our group who were born after the Second World War and were able to see closely the effects of the war. And we shared about the fear of this being a constant cycle in this world. Mm. I think that's it, Jim. I'm afraid to take too much time. Thank yes. you. Thank you. That's very rich for me to get a flavor of it. I'm, I really appreciate you. How about from the Japanese group? Is there someone from the Japanese group who would be willing to give us a flavor of what, it was, what it's like for your, your group right now? I'll share. Thank you. Um, we looked into all those four elements and we all shared celebration, mourning, visioning, and our steps towards vision. And in one hand, it was heartbreaking. In, and another part is that the uh, We could see just a tiny bit of our different views. And that um, widen our perspectives. And that um, other people is holding other side of the you know, world. It's the same world, but you are doing what we can do and collaborating that was quite empowering and 
we recognize that we need more uh, opportunities to share our celebration morning vision and what we can do to inspire each other and to understand each other. Um, yeah. So it was just a taste of this, you know, aspect, but we thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Tomiko. How about uh, someone from the visioning group? Anyone from visioning be willing to share a little bit? I can share a little bit. Thanks, Pam. Uh, there were, <clears throat> I was really moved by the three women who were in this group with their compassion and understanding. We talked about what can we do and came, came up with the conclusion that we can talk to people that we know and radiate out love, compassion, and understanding. And then there was some talk too of the power of local organization, of talking to people that you know and showing up in the halls of decision-making. And then we talked about how we really wished we had more understanding of more impactful things that we could, that we could do. That was that was my take of it. Thank you. And what about uh, from the culture building and action group? May I share? Please, Mina, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Uh, there was a person who already creating a youth um, empathy group for Ukrainian um, in our group. And I was, yeah, so uh, we were discussing how we can, how we can support people if they are intensely in enemy, enemy images or in anger. And um, we just, I think in my understanding, we discussed that um, it might depend if the person, that person that self is safe right now, safe or not. But it really um, made sense to me that one person said um, behind the comment that, that a lot of anger, there are so big needs for safety and maybe collaboration. And it made me aware that there these NVC type of um, communication or awareness, it is really helpful to build that safety really really safe um to really build that safety and um yeah but i i uh, i was past um i was um personally not sure if i can like if i meet the person i'm not really sure if i can support that person first personally but it really made sense that um, and also um, yeah I think I said uh, my opinion um, instead I said my opinion instead of doing empathy or understanding first so and um, yeah like seeing the other person doing the empathy and how that unfolds a different point of view really made uh, it was a learning for me. I'm really grateful and want to talk more about this. Mm. Thank you. 
Thank you. Hi, Harriet. Welcome. I'm glad to see you. We're just doing a little debrief. We've been in uh, small groups for um, most of the time that we've been together. And there's no one currently in the uh, celebration groups, but if anybody touched into the celebration group and you would like to share anything with the rest of us, that would be sweet for me. Yes, I, I was there for um, a period of time. Oh no, Mickey was there, Mickey's still here. Okay, Tracy, go ahead. Well, do, you, do you wanna start Mickey because um, you started with Jan, not Jan, for it to me. Okay. I asked about the quote at the beginning and about the spirituality part of it. And Mickey and Jan were able to share with me what they got from the quote that you put on first. And then I do believe when I came into the meeting, to the room, should I say? They were talking about what we could celebrate with regards to what's happening in Ukraine and Russia. Mm -hmm. But I don't know enough to be able to say what they came up with. And with that, I'm complete. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy. Anything you wanted to add, Mickey? Uh, sure. So we were talking about um, instead of working against the power, what can we do to work with power? And I suggested, um, what can we do? Let's say if we ever get to be in the elevator with the president. So let's talk about <laughs> 60 minute elevator pitch. Um, yeah, we didn't get to come up with one, but um, I'm actually bringing this same topic for the um, another meeting with you in the end of this um, month, month. So <laughs> I guess we can continue on there. Yeah, but that's all we got from the celebration. Thank you. Mickey. Thank you. Yeah. So maybe um, it seems like this is working for people. Maybe we do it for 20 more minutes and then uh, you might want to touch into another group this time or maybe go back to the same group. And um, I will stay here in the in the main room if anybody wants to come in and connect with me, give feedback about this, this particular format or make suggestions for next steps. And so is there anybody um, unwilling to, to do it for 20 more minutes? And then we'll come back for a checkout at the end. Okay, so I'll set this timer for 18 minutes and that'll be 18 plus two and, at the end. And I'm gonna invite Dana to stay here in the main room if you're open. Okay, here we go. So um, Harriet, if you click on the bottom of your screen where it says breakout rooms, you'll a menu will open up that'll give you the choice to join uh, any of the rooms that you would like to go to. Thank you. You bet. Wow. Jim, is there any possibility you could make a separate room for Dana and I to meet? Um, is that there's possible? nobody. There's nobody in the open space room right now. Okay, I'll meet you there, Dana. Is it okay if I just hang out here? Yes, of course. Thank you. Yeah, I really, I really like the format of this. Are we, are we the um because people can choose wow if they, they both come from the same um sense of possibility yeah they come from that same energy of needs so welcome everybody back um uh, thank you mickey for saying that yeah appreciate the shift in the conversation 
So I put into the chat, I think I said it too soon here, so I'll put it again. Someone wanted me to put Marshall's quote um, uh, in the chat from the very beginning, unless we as social change agents come from a certain spirituality, we're likely to create more harm than good. <clears throat> So let's just do a, a check out. We have about 25 minutes left and about 20 people on the call. So everybody has a minute or so. Love to hear all the voices, especially mm -hmm. if you haven't uh, yet had a chance to speak to the large group. And of course it's optional. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna start at a random place on my screen and go around from there. And I wonder Amber, if you'd be willing to share how you are right now, having chosen to spend the last couple of hours with us today. How are you right now and what, what are you taking away? I uh, thank you, Jim. I feel moved and inspired by all of you. Um, I haven't been to an NBC group in this kind of a way. So this is a first for me. I am an NBC Global Rising and a, and a couple of local groups in my community, but um, I just feel really grateful to Marshall Rosenberg and all the people who are carrying on what he has taught and through practice. So I'm just so grateful that we can be a support possibly to the Ukraine, hopefully to the Ukrainian people and to people who love them and people who may not know them, but love them anyway. And just, yeah, glad to be here. So thank you for being here, Amber. I appreciate hearing your voice. Vega and then Tracy. Vega, would you like to share something? Yes. Um, it was um, more feeling like uh, feeling alone before. And coming to this group gives me a sense of grounding and mourning at the same time, more inspiration and motivation. And uh, also not this moment and for the long term as well. Yeah. And I'm grateful to come here, walk up late, but <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Vega. Uh, it's a very early in the morning. Those of you who haven't met Vega, uh, she lives in India where it's what, about seven, eight o'clock in the morning now, right about. Uh, Tracy and then Harriet. Thank you. So I'm leaving the call feeling complete. I'm grateful to Mickey and Jan for helping me with the quote and to better understand MVC and spirituality. And my learning, which was in one of the groups, which was it doesn't all have to land on the shoulders of the facilitator. We're, we're a group of people with lots of different expertise. And if somebody's in trauma, then somebody might suggest something that might work for the person in trauma. And um, and with that, I'm checked out. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy. Glad you were here. Harriet and then Mickey. Um, yeah, uh, Vega, you, every word you said is just every word I want to say. Grounding, mourning, motivation, inspiration, and gratitude. I hit all the feelings that I have for being able to be here and have... Um, a place where I can learn and also um, people who uh, can su support each other. And Oops, I think you got frozen there. <clears throat> Suddenly you got a cold spill in, the, in Cleveland. Uh, Mickey and then Majida. Thank you. I am um, feeling grateful. Uh, in the time of war, we have a cradle of peace here. Um, instead of angry or, um, yeah, I'm very grateful that we have this container where I feel the fuel. Um, yeah, and um, very grateful to share with people here. Uh, who has um, similar vision and um, concrete um, step uh, from today. Again, thank you. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Mickey. Uh, Majida and then uh, Eric. 
Uh, I'm appreciating that there are so many people. This is a microcosm of people who share my value of nonviolence. And um, yeah, I have a little bit of mourning uh, uh, regarding um, maybe would have been nice to, to collect all the different strategies that people might have been talking about you know, just for collaborative mutual learning and support. So, cause I, I could think of a number of strategies. So there's a little bit of mourning and a little bit of celebration. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, I'm happy to collate any of those ideas and put them into a Google doc and let and share it with the um, with the trainer list and with the candidates list that I have access to. So if anybody wants to send me any next steps that you came up with, I'm happy to make a document about that. <clears throat> That'd be fun for me since I didn't get to go to the small groups. Uh, Eric and then uh, Mar Martin. Eric, um, I really enjoy the I really enjoy the community. I enjoy the exercise. I love the options and the choice to see where I'm at in this moment and then pick and then just move through it. So thank you, uh, everybody. And thank you, Jim. You're welcome. And I see you're in the chat. Martin, did you want to say, put your voice into or you feel complete with what you put into the chat? You're good. OK. Uh, that goes next to. Uh, let's if go. you want to, Jim, you want to share that? Want to read that? Sure. I feel grateful and inspired. Thank you for, thank you all for connection and NVC fuel. I'm going to sleep now. Martin from the Netherlands. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, let's see here. Tomomi and then uh, Yukari. Thank you, Jim and everyone. Um, my niece met space for space, human connection, collaboration, um, co-creation and co-holding. And I have a, a sense of increased um, capacity and hope. Thank you. Thank you, Tomomi. Yukari, would you like to share something? Uh, I I got like like the chat. Okay. Okay, just wait. Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to read it. Okay. And come back to that if you want to keep. Oh, there no, you it's, go. It's here. I got it. There it is. I received a lot of inspiration from my colleagues who live in NBC, and from having their voices heard on this topic. We are not children who have never known war. I realized once again that we are the generation that was born after the war and have lived close to the effects of the war that brought it to us. That is why we will continue to do what we can do now. Thank you, Yukari. Yeah, Minako and then Donna. Yes, thank you. Uh, like chat mm -hmm. uh, yep i got it i am so glad like i will write in chat I, got uh, it. I am so glad i joined you here i was empowered and able to connect to my energy i want to trust the abundance i have experienced and the energy of it and cherish my inner peace and connection with my peers in order to make the most of it in society training thank you all Thank, thank you to all of you in Japan for inviting me here and exploring with me. I feel the strength of a great river flowing gently in my belly area. I will continue to connect with my Japanese friends. Thank you, Minako. Donna, you. Yuri. I feel a lot of um, action energy in me. Um, like um, the image of uh, like um, anyways doesn't matter yeah um, and um, I'm putting this energy energy into some action um, holding circles for Russians and Ukrainians and 
anybody who pretty much wants to participate. And I've been holding circles before, but not with this intensity level. So I am very aware that I'm stepping into another new territory and it is scary and I'm willing to do it anyways. I'm gonna screw up probably most of the times. Um, but at this point, I don't see how I not can, how I, how, how I cannot do it. So thank you for the support of everybody today. Mm, thank you, Donna. Yuri and then Ye. Yeah. Um, thank you, everyone. And um, empowerment and resonance. Um, community are uh, being met. Then at the same time, but at the same time, I'm so confused about how to use my power because um, I cannot celebrate my power yet. So, but I will begin by um, setting the time to listen to my own morning, deeply and celebration. So thank you for holding this place, Jim and Jory. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yuri. Yay, if you're available, and then Corey. I think Ye has had some <clears throat> connection problems. Oh, go ahead, Ye. Great. Yeah, I got, got home. <laughs> Yay. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Jim, for having the space held um, today. I'm like I, I typed in the in the chat. I'm really glad I can um, sense of belonging, um, community support. Um, it's like a lot of needs are met. Um, yeah, I'm very grateful for being part of uh, of this connection. Thank you. Thank you, Ye. Uh, Corey, and then uh, Ju. Yes, thank you, Jim. I wish I could have my camera on, but my internet is not very good right now. So I, I, I have actually some messages messages I want, to, I want to pass forward. I would really like to get to know Majida's strategies that she has in mind and everybody's strategies. I also share this feeling of uh, uh, frustration for not um, uh, having enough time to discuss strategies. And uh, I've got an email from NVC Rising. It's a big worldwide community that supports the protective use of force. Uh, and they have a channel for donations for protective equipments and uh, first aid equipments. And I can send that to you, Jim, to share with everybody. Sure. I, I also wonder if would be a good idea for people who are supporting, uh, uh, holding empathy groups for survivors from the war. Like I know that Dana is doing it. I am going to do this next week as well. I wonder if creating a support net for us to discuss how, or to share how our experiences are going would help. It would help me. Yeah. I can share my email in the chat. And anyone who's interested in creating this net, I would love to have contact from. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Ju. Please put any 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 resources. Uh, I welcome all of you to put your resources into the chat like Majid has been doing. And um, very much appreciating that. And I see that Corey has written something in the chat, which I'll read. I'm very grateful for sharing this time with you all. I'm feeling warm, inspired, and thoughtful. The sense of connection with the international community is very uplifting for me. I enjoyed the choices and how to focus attention. Warm thanks. Thanks, Corey. Anything you'd like to say with your voice? Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm sure you, they talked about this. I landed in different groups and missed certain parts, but uh, I see an obvious strong need to support the supporters 
So I think that's what Ju was just talking about. You know, I, have, I need, certainly there's a possibility of strong likelihood of secondary trauma listening to traumatized individuals and, um, you know, how to handle that. And one of the things I'm focusing on in, in the group that I lead even before this war is learning different uh, resilience practices that help bring us back to self-regulation in, in a few minutes, you know, that we can do like in five minutes or 10 minutes and make a change in our, um, basically our nervous system. And um, we're finding, it, we're, we're kind of experimenting with it in, in the beginning of our MVC group and be happy to share that with you guys, particularly the ones sort of like on the front lines of listening to all this, it's gonna be heavy, there's no question and a need for, you know, rebalancing. And I'm sure you're well aware of that. But if, if I can add anything, please don't hesitate. I love to share what I'm learning and would love to support you in that way. So I'll put my email there for you guys if you'd like to do that. Oh, thanks, Corey. <clears throat> uh, Mina and then Soy Fa. Yeah, I'm feeling grateful. Um, I was feeling more depressed and um, feeling um, helpless or I don't, I didn't know what I can do, but um, I now felt a lot of uh, ways that um, NBC might be able to support people and it's really encouraging to see people already acting towards that and I felt a lot of care. Yeah, so uh, really grateful for the meeting. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mina. I'm glad you were here. Soy Fa and then Jory. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Feeling grateful for um, Jim creating and designing this space for us to connect, um, having choice um, to express and to listen. Um, thank you. Thank you for being here, Soifa. Uh, Jory? I'm really appreciating the opportunity right in the beginning to go into a room where there was empathy and where I was able to touch into parts of things and going on inside of me and being held just it just just it didn't even require anyone to say anything just the fact that the space opened up and I could really touch my deep mourning. It was really a tremendous gift. And thank you all for all the gifts that you're bringing forth too, because ah, this is a time when we need it the most, as far as I can tell. Yeah, Jim? thank you, Jory. Yeah, we're, we've all moved into the PhD program for our NVC practice now. This is, this is it. This is what we've been preparing for. And it's hard. It's really hard. And um, I was sharing in the main room here, um, uh, the day after the um, invasion began, one of the trainers wrote on the global home, uh, and, and she's Eastern European. And she wrote, um, how do you feel about what's going on in Ukraine? So I've just been living with that question over and over and over and over again, almost constantly now for more than a week. And I don't feel just one thing. I feel like um, everything on the list. I think I've touched everything on the list of feelings. Everything from ab abject depression to ecstatic joy. And I've just been really surprised that the at the range of feelings that, that I've been able to touch. And I'm so grateful for that question. And I'm really grateful that you all came to hang out with me today and with us. I'm really appreciating these kinds of forums. I know more will be coming and um, just um, maybe you'll create a listening circle in your neighborhood or on your Zoom line, because I think there's about seven and a half billion people who need more empathy than they've ever needed before. And 
I really liked your idea about resilience, um, Corey, that that's a, such a huge skill to find, find out what does help us to bounce back from these moments of d despair and depression, pain, trauma. Well, I feel finished. Um, <clears throat> Of course, nothing that was uh, in the in the breakout rooms was recorded. I think there were some juicy things shared here in the large group that might actually be useful for people to uh, have access to and to see the format that we used. It might inspire other people to do something similar on Zoom. So I think unless there's a strong objection from anybody, I think I'll go ahead and let people know that this recording exists. If you have an objection you don't want to tell me here, that's fine, just write to me. I won't do it. It'll take a while for me to get around to doing it. So if there's any objection, just let me know. And all it takes is one objection and it's enough for me to let it go. <clears throat> we'll come back next month uh, and do another um, session on, on supporting holistic systems. And my, um, my intuition is that we'll, we'll really need the theme of resilience then. So Jory and I have some, some um, stuff that we could share with you about resilience in the face of social change. And um, so maybe that's what we'll do next month unless something else comes alive. All right. Unless there's somebody else that wants to say anything to feel finished, then I think we'll call it here. I'm just wondering <laughs> if you can share these links also somehow, maybe when you share the recording or some of them may be time yes, anything, sensitive, anything but that I get in terms of uh, resources, I will create that like a Google document and put a link to that uh, when I share uh, the recording and it'll be on our, we have a little supporting holistic systems page being built on our pathways to liberation.com website. So I'll put it there as well. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, Eric. Oh, I just had a quick announcement. Go ahead, Eric. Thanks. So um, Jim and Jari will be at the NBC conference at the end of April, April 29th through May 1st. You can go to nbcacademy.com and sign up for that, just NBC Academy. And then they'll also be at the International Intensive Training in Los Angeles, uh, uh, June 10th through the 19th. That's our first and only uh, International Intensive Training in the US in I think three years now. So the only one this year. So if you want to get together with Jim and Jory, you got a couple more opportunities uh, this year and you may even get to see them in person. And maybe if you're lucky, you'll get within six feet of them. So um, just so you know, so cnvc.org for that second one. Oh. Thanks, Jim and Jory. Thanks, Eric. Thank you, Majida, for being our scribe today. It's very helpful that you put all these ideas in the, in the chat. And Mickey, did, is that a hand that you had up, Mickey? No. Okay, great. All right, then we're pow for now, as we say in Hawaii, we go pow and we're finished. Aloha. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Aloha. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.